Cancer and Aquarius in love, it's your turn. We're going to talk about you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mina, your astrology host with another love compatibility video. Today we're going to be talking about Cancer and Aquarius in love. So if you're coming to this video looking for an easy love, this is not for you. This is not an easy pairing. It is one of the most challenging ones in all of the zodiac is when Cancer and Aquarius come together in love. You each challenge each other in ways that the other person just can't relate to. You're just so different. Yet, of course, we have Cancer and Aquarius couples out there, so this is why it's worth discussing. It is challenging, but of course, you guys know I'm a softie. With love, anything's possible. So stay tuned and remember, this is a general reading. We must always keep in mind both people's full birth charts. If something doesn't resonate, go investigate it. Don't let it bother you. All right, let's get into it. Cancer and Aquarius in love. How do you guys even meet? Cancer rule by the moon, card and water. Very sweet, nurturing, emotional, very personable. Aquarius fixed air, ruled by Saturn, very detached yet so cool, so futuristic. How does this even happen? I don't know, you guys. You let me know. Cancer and Aquarius couples, how did you meet? If I had to guess, I would say it's through observing how each of you treat other people, how you are as a friend, because you both are great friends to have. Cancer is your classic mom friend. No matter how you identify, if you're a Cancer person, you are mom friend, you are on it, you are just one of the best friends to have. You just can love someone to such a personal degree that is so unforgettable. If you want to knock a Cancer socks off, tell them they're unforgettable. And Aquarius, you're a great friend to have. You really do respect people as individuals. You find them fascinating, when, especially when they're different from you. And you love having shared social interests. So yeah, you could just think each other is a really good friend to have on your side. So where do the problems happen? The problems happen with this couple in terms of them getting their individual needs met. You know, the needs that truly make you feel okay and happy. Cancer needs to feel emotionally secured in their partnerships, needs to feel protected, needs to feel like they're put first. They're the priority in their lover's life. Aquarius, on the other hand, needs a partner to trust them, needs an equal teammate, and needs their partner to understand that they need more than just their company. They need a lot of other people around, and they need time to themselves. They need their hobbies. They need a lot of that stuff that makes them the individual and very unique person they are there to be happy. So already you can see the disconnect. Cancer just wants such intimate closeness that Aquarius might not be able to give without sacrificing their own happiness. And likewise, you know, Cancer could just feel left out in the cold and not happy as well. So it's just important, you guys, to really ask yourself, can you love each other despite the differences? If that's no, then don't waste each other's time because, oh my goodness, you can hurt each other so, so much. And I don't want that to happen. So Cancer, whenever you are really trying to get your Aquarius to have your same definition of loyalty, like let's just be real, Cancer wants to come before your friends, wants to be the person that you choose always Aquarius to spend time with. Again, Cancer just wants to be prioritized, emotionally, romantically appreciated, all that stuff. Very emotionally high maintenance Cancer people. You know, so Aquarius is going to desire more than just your company. Cancer. I mean, I know it hurts, but you guys are just so, so, so different. So what can you do other than hear each other out? You have to have good listening skills if you are a Cancer Aquarius couple. Cancer just realize that you're never going to be able to get your Aquarius to feel exactly how you're feeling and just be like, oh, I get it. No, they're, they are very rational creatures. 
they're scientific minded. Aquarius is very scientific minded and rational. They're never going to just zone into your personal feelings. They're going to try to rationalize them and understand them, but they'll never understand them because cancer feelings and thoughts are just alien to an Aquarius. And cancer, when you keep trying to push that on an Aquarius, that can feel very traumatizing for them. And they will emotionally close off and shut down from you. And that is, I know, a cancer does not want to feel like their lover is detached. And Aquarius already is a little detached. So you're going to get an even more detached version of them, cancer, if you keep pushing this onto them. They just aren't going to get it unless they have maybe some Pisces in their chart, maybe maybe and likewise Aquarius I have to talk to you too you will never get your cancer to see things your way you're never going to train a cancer to think rationally to weigh everything in reality and to really get this futuristic perspective on their personal feelings no that's just going to make your cancer feel like you aren't listening to them and that you're emotionally dismissing them and that's not you being a good friend and you pride yourself on being a good friend and you pride yourself on really seeing who someone is on an individual basis. And you're not giving your cancer that honor when you treat them like that. So it's really important, again, you guys, to truly listen to one another. Let me know, Cancer Aquarius couples, how do you truly listen to one another? What tactics have worked? Share, because I think that there's a lot of Cancer and Aquarius couples that could really use the advice and the loyalty conundrum. You know, again, Cancer wants to come number one over anything and is very emotionally possessive and can be jealous, territorial, whereas Aquarius is like, chill, man, just trust me, trust me. And Cancer's just like, no, no, I need proof before I can trust. I need reassurance. And Aquarians hate giving reassurance. They just want you to trust them. They are ruled by Saturn. Saturn is a planet that commands respect from others and can be kind of cold and rigid. And yes, they can be very stubborn in their fixed air ideals. They are always thinking about how things should be per their futuristic mindset. Yeah, Aquarians might not budge cancer. They might just be like, look, this is how it's gonna be. I'm going to be around these people. It doesn't matter about your personal feelings about it. This is something I need. You should trust me anyway. And Cancer, you're going to be left very sad and having bad feelings. So again, really important to ask yourself, are you being a good friend to one another? And what can you do to compromise? And what are you willing to let go? Because there's just some differences here, you guys, that aren't going anywhere. And if you're expecting these differences that pull you apart to go away, then you're already going to set yourself up to fail. You know, Aquarius is an air sign, so they like it when people listen to them and try and put in effort to get to know who they are on an individual basis. No one's going to do this for you like Cancer Aquarius. Cancer is the best listening ear in this way, can truly listen to those they love and will retain those personal details that make you who you are. It's pretty amazing. And Aquarius will always be persistent, Cancer, in trying to understand you. The process might be clumsy. It might hurt your feelings. But don't take for granted your space alien, your Aquarius, their will to keep going and keep talking, keep trying, even if it traumatizes them and gives them bad feelings. If they keep coming back to you, make them feel good about that. They are trying, and that's all they can do sometimes. You guys are very different. So Cancer, realize that you want Aquarius to be happy. You always want people you love most to be happy. And you're not making your Aquarius happy when you're not giving them that freedom. Just let them have their way sometimes. See how far that gets you. I bet it will get you something good. And Aquarius, nothing disarms Cancer like kindness. Instead of being all high and mighty Saturn and trying to school them on rationality and what they should be thinking, just shut up and be nice sometimes. See how far kindness gets you. Let me know, Cancer and Aquarius, if these tactics have worked. We're not even going to get into the physical intimacy because I think that is not the most important thing when a Cancer and Aquarius comes together. It really is how far are each of you willing to go to keep the friendship intact 
And that is what makes you similar, is that Cancer wants a sense of family with a love, and Aquarius wants a best friend. And I think those two ideals can be merged. And I feel like you can, instead of thinking like you're giving away yourself, you can say, hey, I'm sacrificing and compromising for someone I love. So it's really important that you go into a winning frame of mind in this couple because you don't want to walk away salty and like you lost a part of yourself. So, so important that that does not happen. And I really do feel like if you put in the hard work, if you say, hey, Cancer, you're worth it, Aquarius, you're worth it, because I think you're both worth it, two great signs, I think that a lot of beautiful and unexpected things will happen that will totally surprise you in the best of ways. So, so that's the video for today, you guys. I really have a soft spot for Cancer and Aquarius in love. I feel like it's so hard, but everything that's this hard is worth fighting for most of the time. And I think that it can have success. Let me know of your love stories, Cancer and Aquarius couples. I am so, so, so interested. And I think that you can help a lot of people by sharing about this pairing because it's just so difficult and thank you for sticking with me I know I haven't been posting videos for a while I have been very very sick so I appreciate all your love and care and understanding of me and it keeps me motivated to keep trying to make more videos for you guys and I will see you in the next one bye